absolutely. There, there's, you know, if he's going to do something, he needs to. If he's going to talk about morality, he needs to clean up his own house first. It is absolutely amazing. He needs to get the beam get out of his eye before we get the speck out of ours. Yes, yes. We're going to try to meet with uh, some spokesperson who have been, uh, there's a uh, survivors of, um, of abuse by uh, uh, priests. It's the Survivors Network, S-N-A-P, SNAP. We're going to try to meet with some of them uh, this evening to try to uh, sure. get information about them because this is very deep. There's a lot of detail involved, but I have to say there are literally thousands of cases of child abuse. Sure. Well, this is a formula. This In the last yeah. hundred years, they, the globalist put the pedophile networks, they do this every institution, in, they slowly took over, I'm not defending the previous church, it's a fact, and now the Marxist globalist cabal has taken it over and now dropped the whole thing because it's yeah. mission complete. They took over with the corruption of the church, they're now in charge, and they've got their Jesuit Pope in there uh, preaching the opposite of Pope John Paul II. I mean, it is, I mean, I couldn't criticize Pope John Paul II because he was anti-communist, pro-family, I'm, I'm not saying he was perfect, but now you see this new Pope, I mean, Either the old popes are bad and this guy's good, or he's bad and they were good because there's such a separation. Yeah, they're polar opposites. Now, he's made a couple of statements. They're very vague. They're very general. Uh, and just, you know, in terms of talking about the abuse, as I mentioned, you know, God weeps and, and this is a horrific thing. But nothing specific. He's taken no action. And as I reported before, the prior, prior today, the only time he had talked about this was to uh, tell the clergy that he was sorry that they had had their reputations sullied. Well, they should be sorry. Stay there, David Knight. I want to come back and have you recap the last five, six days you've covered with Jakari. Overall, how successful you think this giant propaganda offensive against America has been. Uh, and then we'll get Jakari Jackson's take on it as well. But great job the last five, six days. We'll be back. And in the second hour, political persecution. We're going to take a close look. God weeps. For the sexual abuse of children. These cannot be maintained in secret. And I commit to a careful oversight to ensure that youth are protected and that all responsible will be held accountable. Uh, that's quite a claim when all they've been doing, and since he got in a few years ago, is continuing the cover-up. Where are the prosecutions? Where are the indictments? Where are the de people being defrocked? It's not happening. And this is how the Catholic Church got turned into what it is today. Just like Congress is full of pedophile rings, just like Penn State's a giant pedophile ring, just like uh, continually we see this. The Texas Youth Commission, it turned out, was run by a bunch of pedophiles. I mean, they can take over any institution. It's very, very dangerous. So I'm not singling out Catholics here, but now the Catholic Church is an open weapon against free market. The carbon taxes the Pope have pushed for, Lord Moncton broke the numbers down many years ago, would kill about a billion people in the third world in a decade who are right at this subsistence level. We already have 40 million people a year starved to death. This is deindustrialization. This is neo feudalism. David Knight recapping the last five, six days of your coverage. Then we're going to get a breakdown report from Jakari Jackson on the security theater. Yeah, Alex, it's been amazing. And I got to say, very, very disappointing to see the masses of crowds, to see the mainstream media reporting on this. Today, earlier, they went, they interviewed a, uh, a police officer on the road. It, there's just. National Guard and armies strung out all along the road. It's just amazing. And so at the end of the interview, they said, thank you so much for your service. They're not serving us. They're not serving us. They are setting up a police state each time there's an event, whether it's a Super Bowl, the Pope coming, every time they it go It gets up to bigger. It gets more it out of control. It's the suspension of our rights just easing us in to the tyranny. And nowhere has it been worse, Alex, than here in Philadelphia. My wife sent me articles earlier in the week. She said, oh, you better be careful when you get to Philadelphia. It's going to be incredibly crazy. I said, yeah, tell me about it. We're here in Washington. We're here in New York. I said, everybody likes to brag now about how wonderful and over the top their security is. Well, Philadelphia wins the prize. 
It was absolutely insane. It's, they've locked down the entire city. The entire city has blockades, and it, you can't get a taxi cab. When we got here uh, at, at 10 o'clock at night, they had shut down all taxi service. We were greeted by the military telling us that we would have to walk, and hopefully they hadn't shut down the bridges yet. Well, they had shut down the bridges. So what would have been a nine-minute ride turned into a 40-minute walk, and then it turned into a two-hour and 15-minute walk zigzagging all over the place, Good Lord. Trying, not able to get through the TSA. Uh, there's remnants of TSA now. So right that's behind total us. martial law when this guy Absolutely. comes. Absolutely. Absolutely. All of this. It's fair to all say they don't even man. do this for Obama. It's fair to no. say the Catholic Church run by the Marxists is now the king of America. This was yes. him squatting on America and showing yes. him he rules us. No, Alex. He's a humble man. You have to understand. This is a guy who, who rides a Fiat after he flies in his private jumbo jet. And that's precisely the hypocrisy that we see with this talk about God weeping about pedophiles when he's been a, a pope for two and a half years and the archdiocese, uh, uh, the archbishop here, the archdiocese of Philadelphia had to leave town, had to retire and go to Tennessee because the archdiocese itself had been indicted. He, he jumped out of town, but this guy brings him back and honors him as a VIP on multiple occasions on this trip. That's the hypocrisy. Talking about how transparent they're going to be. Transparent just like Obama. Transparently criminal is what it is. It's absolutely amazing to see the hypocrisy. But the thing that concerns me the most, Alex, even more so than the security, is the people's reaction to the security. The people's reaction to the Pope. The fact that, as, as Orwell said, the future was going to be a boot stomping in your face forever. The problem I see now is that the people who are having the boot stomped in their face want to lick it want to praise it, want to honor it, thank it for kicking them in the face. It is disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting to see these people acting like slaves, the mentality of these people who cannot say, this is enough. This is crazy. This is too much. You don't need to do this. No, they can't get enough of it. And I see it from the media. I see it from the people on the streets. This, this is a this. seduction of America. Of David, once you get back, we'll get you in studio. I know you're taking a few days off that are deserved. Thank you so much. We're going to pause for a moment and then uh, go to Jakari Jackson here in just a moment. David Knight reporting from Philadelphia, the final stop after he visited uh, Cuba and his communist uh, lover, uh, best buddy, uh, friend, uh, pen pal Fidel Castro and Raul Castro. We're going to go to Jakari Jackson here in just a moment. First off, a bunch of specials are ending uh, tonight, they'll end tomorrow morning to be technical. Uh, DNA Force is our flagship product, uh, simply amazing, most hardcore product yet from InfoWars Life. Our exclusive formula is loaded with bio PQQ compound, which is backed by 175 clinical studies. Just look into it for yourself. We've got what we can say about it approved by the lawyers at InfoWarsLife.com. It's amazing. The bio PQQ and DNA Force contains more potent antioxidant activity uh, than vitamin C. That's something like 400 boxes of blueberries or something per serving. I mean, it's just insane. DNA Force is extremely hard to produce with our nutraceutical manufacturing process. Get 20% off DNA Force now at InfoWarsLife.com. And then you can continue uh, and check out 20% uh, off Brain Force. Uh, both listeners and InfoWars crew camps stop talking about what Brain Force has done for them. Unlike some energy drinks and supplements, Brain Force uses natural activation ingredients like yerba mate extract and alpha GPC. Brain Force is InfoWarsLife.com. Already has hundreds of five-star reviews that you can read for yourself at InfoWarsLife.com. These reviews are certified by third-party review system called Power Reviews that works with thousands of top companies. Even our chemists are freaking out about this formula. Secure your Brain Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. And finally, Survival Shield Nation Iodine X2. Iodine is absolutely essential like vitamin C. I mean, if you have deficiencies in it, look into it for yourself, big problems. It's like oxygen. I know that's not FDA approved to say we need oxygen, but I can say it. You don't have oxygen, you die. Well, you got to have high quality uh, iodine. So many people are deficient in it. Research it for yourself. Find out info at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. This is the purest iodine we could find, the purest iodine that we know exists out there from deep earth sources. And it's been such a game changer for me personally, my energy, my stamina, my skin, uh, just everything. My God, I wish I'd have gotten on high quality uh, iodine earlier. InfoWars Life.
www.ebay.com. And we also, it ends on October 1st, the lowest price ever on high-quality storable foods at InfoWarsSelect.com or InfoWarsStore.com, powered by My Patriot Supply. The lowest prices they've ever offered are being given to us right now. This is the time to get storable food today. We're going to hold Jakari into the next segment. Uh, and, and then we're going to get uh, Joe Bannister on with us. But Jakari, uh, great job with your reports. we got about two minutes to break, but uh, recap for us what you've witnessed and what your big takeaway is from Pope Francis conquering, uh, Pope, Pope Francis doing America. Jakari Jacks reporting from Philadelphia, City Hall Station behind me, Alex. Now, when we first got in to Philadelphia, as David said, we had to walk two hours to our hotel, multiple checkpoints, TSA checking people's bags, every alphabet agency, local cops, everybody was out here on display. National Guard is still posted at many places around the city. And this is a perfect example of getting people to love their servitude. I've heard those quotes before. And with all the presence I just mentioned, they also had the volunteers. So people could get in on the action so they didn't feel so oppressed because you know, little Susie who worked down at the bakery was checking their tickets. And I want to tell you how much of a security theater this is, Alex, because of all the troops, all the guardsmen, all the alphabet agencies and the volunteers, I was able to get into Independence Hall yesterday, Independence Mall yesterday without a ticket. I didn't jump any fences. I didn't lie to anybody. I walked straight into that venue without a ticket, even though this is supposed to be the most secure place I've ever seen. Like David said, this guy has more security here in Philadelphia than Obama has in Washington. It's like Emperor Palpatine came to town. And, I, and of course, you shot footage of you going into Independence Hall. That footage yeah. is on Infowars.com. Yeah, no ticket. I walked straight in there. And and that's the complete uh, theater of this whole event. You know, a lot, plenty, plenty of people just think, oh, I'm, I'm going to be safe. It makes me feel better. I know it's ridiculous. You have cement barriers. You have the bike racks in the street herding people like cattle to come out here to see this event. Amazing. Jakari, we're going to break in a moment. What else are you going to break down when we come back? Oh, I'm, I'm breaking down all. I'm going to tell about uh, Washington, D.C., Times Square. It's easier to move around in Times Square than it was to move around here in Philadelphia. It's completely ridiculous. Land of the free, home of the brave. Jakari Jackson reporting from Philadelphia. The second hour, Joe Bannister on the incredible political persecution going on in America and how we bring these criminals to justice and more. I'm Alex Jones. We are the tip of the spear. We are the Info War. 1776 is the answer to 1984. Here we are in occupied North America. I come to you from FEMA Region 6. What, what FEMA Region is uh, Philadelphia in? FEMA Region 2, I think? Jakari Jackson joins us. Uh, sounds like a third world country or, or East Germany. Can't even get a cab at the airport at 10 o'clock at night after to walk miles through the cold rain to get to their hotel and just checkpoints everywhere, TSA everywhere, just just all a ridiculous power grab. Jakari Jackson, report on what happened. Yeah, so what you may have noticed this red band that I have on my wrist. This was our express pass just to access our hotel. Because after we got to the hotel, after our two-hour walk, we were going out to get a bite to eat. They said, hey, wait, you need to get your band. We was like, what do we need this band for? To get back in the hotel. Because they wouldn't let us walk down the street unless we had a band, even though we paid to get into the hotel. And every time we came in and out, like, where's your band? Where's your band? I'm like, we paid to come into this hotel. Why are you guys harassing us like this? David called one of the ladies a junior Nazi. She didn't like that too much. But that's pretty much what it is. Like, so they get people in on the action. So you don't just have to watch people be harassed. You can get in on the act and do it yourself. So these are the things that we've had to endure. And going back over the past few days, you guys may have noticed uh, some of these barricades. Maybe we can show them these uh, bicycle racks right here, David. Now imagine they've cleared it up a little bit because they know it's the last day, but imagine these racks clear across the street, also concrete barriers, which are a little bit further down the street. And we saw a very amusing scene. We didn't get to capture it on camera, but uh, there was a, a golf cart, you know, full of cops. They're trying to drive down the street and they're like, oh crap, we can't drive down the street because there's a bunch of barricades on it. And then we just stood there and watched them when David's like, I wonder if they could figure this out. It's like watching a kid put together a puzzle. So they were sitting there and they're like, oh, we can drive on the sidewalk. So they hop on the sidewalk and drive down the sidewalk. And David made the excellent point that if a golf cart can drive down the sidewalk, can a car do the exact same sure, thing? Sure, it's all Completely total theater to condition us. It's all yeah, theater. It's, all, it's, it's complete security theater. And as we were talking about earlier, how the Pope has more security here in Philadelphia than Obama has in Washington, D.C. You go up to uh, Washington, D.C., you can get as close to the, to the White House as the front gate. 
that's not an issue. You know, of course, they have Secret Service and all that stuff, but you can walk up there. To get anywhere around here, you have to go through multiple checkpoints. You have to have a ticket unless you're Jakari Jackson. When, in such case, you just walk right into the thing. Well, they don't even and have this much security for G20. It's like the Pope is the king of Earth. Uh, pretty much, that's how people are reacting to him. You know, and everybody says, just like David pointed out, he's such a humble guy, stepping off his private jet. How you doing, young fella? Hey. Yes. So, yeah, these are things that we've gone through. And oh, what I was talking about earlier, Alex, when we went to Times Square, 